Welcome to NetSuite's Suite Success demonstration of OpenAir, a professional services automation solution. In this video, we will demonstrate the use of executive dashboards and how to view project delivery metrics. For this video, I'm going to log in as an executive within a services company. All the critical information I need for this role is right here on the dashboard. Let's walk through some of the reports that will illustrate the executive level visibility into a services organization. On the home dashboard, there are several delivered portlets that guide users to important topics. The message board is useful for delivering company-wide information. Next to that, the reminders portlet will alert users of any workflow awaiting action, which they can drill down into. Company status highlights the real-time nature of OpenAir, updating any time a transaction is added or updated in the system, providing full visibility into the organization. Users can also ensure their favorite reports are front and center on any dashboard, like timesheet utilization, which represents the lifeblood of the service organization. Dashboards can be pre-configured for the various roles in an organization, but OpenAir is all about personalization. Users can rearrange the portlets, add or remove any charts and reports, or minimize and expand lesser used portlets. Clicking on the graph icon and selecting the choice of output allows users to download a report for offline sharing. Beyond the home dashboard, there are configurable dashboards that will segment reporting into additional buckets. For this demonstration, we chose to break our project reporting into buckets that represent project financials, project delivery information, and staffing or resource management. The reports shown on the financial tab of this dashboard represent visibility into all of the projects under my purview in the company. The billing margin chart lets me compare how my project margins are faring amid the various business units in the company. Over to the right, I have insight into future billings of my clients based on the actual contract details for their projects. I can either view billings for all clients and projects or simply focus on my top five as we see here. My project burn report allows me to view the planned and remaining billing for my client projects in a timely manner, no matter if they're fixed fee or time-based. Remaining project budgets keep me on top of any potential overrun issues, allowing me to bring the project in on time and budget. I can also do any ad hoc reporting by using the column filters. If I want to focus on just one client, such as Red Rivers, I would enter the client name into the column filter. The Delivery Overview Dashboard shows me project progress and details around the status of individual projects. Project stages are configurable, but companies typically bucket projects into opportunities, active, closed, and internal projects. We can track the status and number of projects in each stage, which ensures a balance of pipeline to active projects, keeping the utilization of resources on track. Plan versus Actual Hours brings in timesheet data, which informs me how much upcoming work is planned and if we're achieving our goals. Project status reports let me see if our projects are on track or need attention based on assessments from my project teams. These reports can be grouped into risk categories like project budget and schedule. The resource focus dashboard provides visibility into all resources and includes metrics on past utilization and projected utilization. The available FTE report shows me capacity planning by various job types in my company and whether I'll have a shortfall or surplus of a certain role. If I want to drill into any underlying metrics that make up the report, I can click into the report and see full details as far into the future as I want. When I'm forecasting a surplus or shortfall based on planned projects, the detailed report view drills down to individual job codes, projects, or person levels. After quickly returning to my dashboard, I can review my utilization-focused reports. My monthly report will show me future work at the company level, and below that, my weekly view shows utilization by resource types. To the left, my target utilization report lets me compare planned work to target utilization, which I set on an individual basis. 
By pulling in my timesheet data, I can then compare it to what was achieved. As an executive, I now have full visibility of planned work and how well we are achieving our target utilization metrics. Thank you for watching this demonstration. For more information, please reach out to your account manager.